wow, I can't believe this works. Hi everyone, this is my blog for my upcoming hiking trip. I am so excited to share where I am hiking, the Nahani National Park. I am so excited to be given the opportunity to hike here and share it with all of you. Well, gotta get back to packing lol. Keep following this blog and you will get updates very very soon. See you then. My supplies, food, sleeping bag, bear spray, tent, toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant, shotgun, bullets, fishing gear, bear traps, protection. Edit. I totally forgot but so many people asked what park this is because they have never heard of it before. The nickname for this park is actually the Valley of Headless Corpses, and I looked up why this canyon has been given that name. The reason for the name is that so many people keep being found without their heads, lol. Oh and by the way, a Indian tribe actually disappeared here, which gives into the spooky feeling of the canyon, so I will not be sleeping at all, joking of course but still, kinda spooky. Anyway, by then. Monday, April 6th, 2024. I can't believe I made it. Everything looks spectacular and the canyon walls look absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could take pictures, but sadly I can't. The one bad part was that I had to go in a helicopter and had to be airlifted into the canyon because there was no way to get my car down here. I'm actually scared of heights. Would rather be on the ground, lol. But now I'm here, my eyes can't take in this awesome beauty. I'm one of the few people that can actually be down here, so it's just me and nature the way that I like it. The helicopter pilot told me that there were a set of rules for me to follow nicknamed them. T. Talk with the official on the phone if you see anything suspicious. H. Hover around the area and be absolutely sure that you saw something. Do this before calling an authority figure. E. Evaluate the situation. Know if you are in immediate danger or if you can get out of the situation. M. Move away from the immediate danger. Do this at all costs. If you cannot move at the sight of danger, evaluate the situation, try to find a clear escape plan and then call an authority figure. To be honest with you, I'm not too worried. They keep saying to remember this stuff, but, like, how bad can it be? The worst thing that can happen is a bear gets into my food or is too close to my tent. But I have a gun and bear spray, I'm fine. I hiked for a little bit, but as the sun started coming down, I decided to set my tent up by some bushes. I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I prepared and started writing this. I'm about to hit the hay soon, so good night, everyone. Stay tuned for more awesome adventures. Tuesday, April 7th, 2024. Hello again, everyone. It's me again, and I just want to say, I'm so happy that people are invested in my hiking trip. It warms my heart, and I care deeply about each and every one of you. I just want to clear a couple things up before I talk about my day. Some people are worried that I'm here, that I will get killed. And to that I say, I'm fine. I really don't understand what the big problem is. A couple of hunters got killed in mysterious ways 100 years ago. What does that have to do with me? I care deeply for your concerns, but trust me, I am and will be 100% okay. Anyway, enough of that, let me talk to you about my day. The sun came up early, so I set up my bear traps I want to stay in this location for a couple of days, and decided I wanted an organic breakfast, so I went and got some berries. They were very delicious. I went around and explored the area and found a river. I will go fishing there before I leave. I saw so many fish in the water. This is such a beautiful place it's practically untouched. I saw rabbits, butterflies, birds, frogs and other funny little critters that God gave us. I wish Bob Ross was here. I bet he could paint the most beautiful picture of this canyon. For lunch and dinner, I decided to make some stew. 
I guess the smell of the stew attracted some bears because I kept seeing them far off in the distance. Anyways, I hope each and every one of you have a good rest of your day. Bye. Wednesday, April 8th, 2024. Hello to all the people who are keeping up with this blog. I just want to still say how thankful I am that each and every one of you cares so much about stupid old me. It means the world. I must admit I totally forgot to write about today. You may ask yourself why, and to that I answer with bears. I have been seeing them all day. I decided to move from my current position, the stew smell kept them around, and so I decided to hike to a new place. But it seems that I just can't shake them off. They are determined to get to me lol. I hike for 30 minutes, take a break, and from the corner of my eye I can see a massive bear hiding from me. Then I look around and notice not one bear but maybe three or four are surrounding me, hiding. It honestly freaks me out a little bit, but I'm still 100% safe. I found a new place to set up my tent. It is right by a boulder, and used almost all of my bear spray. Don't want to be mauled to death lol. I decided to have a couple peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch and dinner. I don't want to make something that will attract bears again. Anyways, that's all that happened today, see you tomorrow. Thursday, April 9th, 2024. I think the bears found me again. It's still really weird how none of my bear traps have gone off, but there's three or four bears that I saw while hiking yesterday. I don't know, I might be going crazy, might be one of the canyon's tricks. But I think one of them, the biggest one, keeps following me. I went fishing today and actually caught a ton of fish. All was well until I heard a massive roar. It sounded like the bear was right next to me, prepared to rip me to pieces right then and there. But, there was no bear at all. I just brushed it off as my mind was playing tricks on me like it has the past two days. I kept hearing the roars get quieter and quieter. I totally forgot about the roars that was until I heard something massive run in the brush right next to me. It had to be that bear, so I ran back to my tent, grabbed my shotgun and was determined to kill it. I looked into the bush, but I saw no bear. I did, however, see footprints. Bear footprints. I tracked the footprints and it seemed like the bear was walking right next to the river and then just stopped. I literally mean the tracks ended, there weren't any tracks that led on. Again, kind of strange. Hopefully I scared it off and honestly I'm kind of scared right now. Why does this bear want to kill me so badly? Please pray for my safety everyone, see you then. Friday, April 10th, 2024. That wasn't a bear, I don't know what the hell it is. And I heard it right by my tent last night. I woke up because I needed to pee really badly. As I moved over to open my tent, I noticed something very strange. There was a shadow of a bear right next to my tent. I heard very labored breathing and smelt something putrid. The bear was trying to quietly enter my tent but couldn't. He couldn't seem to get the zipper to work. I guess he got frustrated because he walked off. I tried to open my tent and see if it was the massive bear that's been following me, but the bear was gone before I could peek my head out. To say I was scared would be an understatement. I couldn't sleep at all. I was waiting for the bear to come back, but he didn't come back. When the sun started to rise, I decided to get up and look around my place to see if the bear got into anything. Nothing got moved. None of my food was eaten. But I saw bear tracks again. That was no surprise. But what was a surprise was the tracks were in a set of two, not four. Normally, a bear would walk on all fours only walking on two to threaten a rival bear or to get food that was on a tree. But the set of tracks that I was looking at had two. Another weird thing was that it seemed like the bear didn't change to going on all four, it stayed on two. What? 
That makes no sense. A bear tried to get in my tent but couldn't. So it instead walked away like a human. That honestly freaks me out the more I think about it. Maybe it wasn't a bear. Maybe it was something else. I don't know. I'm really tired and my eyes keep darting around waiting for the thing to come back. Hopefully it doesn't, but you gotta prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Saturday, April 11th, 2024. Holy God, I think I might die here. Weird things have been going on. I don't know if I'm tired or just paranoid from yesterday, but I keep noticing small things that freak me out. At the beginning, I mentioned how much wildlife was here. I have seen nothing today. No birds are chirping, haven't seen rabbits, frogs, and even bugs. I feel like I'm trapped, and I'm the only one making noise in the forest. I also feel like I'm being watched by something that I don't know what it is. I also keep hearing bears roaring in the distance, but they don't sound 100% like a bear but something trying to imitate them. Am I in the forest with a skinwalker? I keep trying to tell myself that I'm not, to help myself from going insane. I am determined to get out of here alive. Jesus, I know for a fact now that it isn't a bear now. I was typing on this laptop when I heard something strange. I decided to check it out. I followed the sound until I came across a clearing. I looked around until I saw a person. It's nighttime, so I wasn't completely sure I saw a human due to low visibility, so I hid by some trees to be safe. The human was holding something, a can he was holding onto a jerry can. He stopped in the middle of the clearing, looked around, and then started pouring a liquid from the jerry can on himself. He then lit a match, threw it on the ground, and immediately was engulfed in flames. I could tell that he was trying to yell something, but the flames kept cutting out his words. He stood there trying to scream words, but then he noticed me. I ran, I ran as fast as I could. I looked behind me and noticed that this person was incredibly fast and was catching up. I knew I wasn't going to outrun him, so... I decided to hide in some brush. A light started to come into view, and I heard the sound of flames. I knew he was here. He stopped, tried to scream something again but couldn't. He was gasping for air, and I saw the skin melting off, exposing raw muscle, tendons, and bone. His eyes kept darting wildly, knowing I was here but couldn't pinpoint on where I was hiding. He was trying to find me and I was trying to keep myself hidden as best as I could. Then I thought of a plan. Every time he turned away from the bush that I was hiding in, I would push myself back, being very quiet and eventually get away. And so I did. He would turn his back, I would crawl away then when he turned to my bush I would lay flat hoping that the shadows covered me. I did this a couple of times until I could not see him anymore. I stayed there hiding behind a tree until I noticed the light bouncing off trees was going farther and farther away. I was safe. Frankly, I don't know what the hell that thing was. I know it was a human, but how come he was able to survive while being engulfed in flames? All I know is that I'm done. My trip ends tomorrow. The helicopter is coming to pick me up tomorrow, and I am going to the canyon wall before it does. I'm sick and tired of this forest. If I go by the wall, I can see if something is following me, there is nothing it can hide behind. It's too rocky for plants to grow. Hopefully, I make it out of here alive. Sunday, April 12th, 2024. I made it to the canyon wall. I'm out of the forest. All morning... While I was packing up my tent and things, I felt like I was being watched. I felt like whatever was out there looking at me wanted me dead. I am so thankful to be out of the forest. I actually was able to find a small cave in the wall that I was able to climb into. I'm staying here until I hear the helicopter. 
I am thankful to make a once in a lifetime trip out here, but I am also thankful that it is over. I hear it, the helicopter. It might be a different helicopter because it sounds a little off. Maybe they needed to repair the other helicopter, who knows. Anyways, all I know is I'm finally getting out of here. Before I go, I want to thank each and every one of you who have been so involved in my trip. It means the world that so many of you care about me and it touches me deeply. Bye everyone, I will get back to this blog soon.